Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it's all about Charlotte Tilbury. I am so excited about today's video because I'm gonna be playing around with Charlotte Tilbury products for the very first time in my channel. I had never bought the brand. If you know anything about Charlotte Tilbury is that their products are so, so beautiful, but they're also a high price point, which is the reason why I've kind of like looked at them from far away, admired them from far away, but I finally gave in, bought some goodies, and I'm gonna be showing you how to do this look with them. This look was inspired by this look right here that Sophia Tilbury posted on TikTok. She did it on Kayla and as soon as I saw it I knew I wanted to recreate it. It's super sparkly, it's giving me fairy unicorn vibes and I knew I wanted to try it out for myself. This is the final look and before we get started on the tutorial and review don't forget to follow me on my other social media channels. Hit that like button below before you leave and don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you. So with all of that said let's get started on this look all right okay so first things first we're gonna make sure we start out with hydrated skin so i'm going in with a facial mist first from there i'm gonna use my glow recipe watermelon dew drops for some glow now we're gonna prime and i'm using my elf poreless putty primer to smooth out those pores on my t-zone And now for some glow, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter on the high points of the face and on the temples. And before blending that out, I'm adding the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. And adding one more thing before we blend, we add the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer to the inner corners of the eyes and on the sides of the nose where I have a little bit of redness there that I'd like to conceal. I find that adding my products like this instead of one product on top of the other makes it so that I use a little bit less product than I'm used to because you're just essentially doing everything in one single layer. And now we're gonna do some cream contour and I'm gonna use my iconic London multi-use sculpting palette to contour the sides of the cheeks, the temples, the sides of the nose, and then with my fingers, I'm adding the lighter highlighting shade to the inner corners just to add some brightness to the center of the face. And then also with that contour, I'm adding a little bit to the lids just to add some color there and we're gonna blend everything out. Now we're using our first Charlotte Tilbury product. I'm going in with the Beauty Light Wand in the shade of Pillow Talk. I'm adding it to the high points of the cheeks and as soon as I apply it, I mean it's like liquid metal. It's so shiny. I love that there's no glitter in it. It's just straight up glow and it's super easy to blend. It's essentially a really strong rose gold highlighter. I love this. And now on top of that, because I want some rosy cheeks, I'm gonna add the NARS Liquid Blush in the shade Orgasm and we're gonna blend it out as usual. Now to set all of those creams in place, we're adding some setting powder using the OPV Beauty Loose Setting Powder. I'm gonna go under the eyes, the chin, the forehead, and just a little bit with whatever's left on the puff on the rest of the face. And after that, we're all set to start on the eyeshadow. We're going to be playing with the Charlotte Tilbury, the Beautyverse palette, which is just gorgeous. First, I'm going to insert some swatches here. Now for the look, the very first shade I'm using is the one on the top left of the palette. It's the Virtual Taupe Matte Shade. I'm using a fluffy brush and using that all over the crease. 
I love that these matte shades are not powdery at all and when you apply them they go in super soft and you can even be as aggressive as you want on the pan when you're dipping the brush in there but it's still gonna keep that application super soft on the eye. I feel like that makes this palette really good for beginners because again you don't need any special techniques or way of using it to be able to use it in a really good way. Again we're using that shade all over the crease. And we're taking that same color with another fluffy brush and using it all over the lower lash line. Now with our fingers, we're going to go straight in with that beautiful purple shade on the bottom called Digital Lilac and applying it all over the lid. I thought the shade was beautiful, but I do wish it packed a little bit more of a punch. I thought it was a little bit too soft of a shimmer. I wanted it to pop a little bit more. From there, I took a pencil brush and I added the same color on the inner portion of the lower lash line. I did eventually use some setting spray to apply it just so that again, it would pop a little bit more and it seems like it helped a little bit. And then on the outer portion of the lower lash line, the original video that I'm following didn't show what the shade was, but I decided to just go all purple. So I used the darker purple on there called Planet Pink. Now for those inner corners, I wanted to do, of course, something super bright. So I'm using the shade called Beautyverse Party Topper and then also pulling it a little bit up to connect it with that lid shade. Now we're going to be using my favorite shade in this palette. It's the baby blue shimmer shade in the center. It's called Cyber Silver and I'm using a pencil brush and with a pencil brush I'm going to apply it all over the top lid and when i said i wished the purple shade packed a punch this is what i was talking about this shade is such a strong metallic beautiful no need for setting spray i loved this one and with that the eyeshadow look was done i did some mascara and lashes next and now we're gonna go in with some lip product starting out with our lip cheat lip liner in the shade pillow talk this is such a pretty soft pink shade it's creamy and easy to use and then i followed it up with our classic pillow talk lipstick and i was so happy with the formula it's so interesting because it's a lipstick but it applies almost like a stain where it gives you that lightweight feel that a stain does but it's a lipstick i love that but i will say that the color was kind of throwing me off a little bit i felt that it was maybe a little bit too light for my skin tone but the formula i love i might just try more of their shade range and from there we sealed the look with the morphe continuous setting mist and this look was complete and yeah this is the final result let me know your thoughts in that comment section below also a friendly reminder that everything that i used and mentioned in this video will be linked down below in that description box do know that the links on there are affiliate links so any purchase made through those does earn me a small commission at no extra cost to you so yeah let me know your thoughts on the look any questions leave them on the comment section below again don't forget to hit the like button subscribe follow me on my other social media channels and yeah thank you guys so much for watching for being here for spending some of your time here on my channel take care and hopefully i will see you right here on my next one bye guys